Hello everybody, we have seen this uh, chest x-ray before at least twice in two other videos. Today I want you to pay attention to this very thin horizontal opaque line, well almost horizontal line which is starting from here and moving towards the lateral chest wall finishing up here. This is horizontal fissure, some people call it transverse fissure. It is also known as a minor fissure which separates right upper lobe and right middle lobe. There is no uh, middle lobe on the left side so there is no left horizontal fissure. Now this is made up of a double layer of visceral pleura and it separates right upper lobe and right middle lobe and it is only visible if it is parallel to the x-ray beam and for that reason it is not visible in a number of normal chest x-rays. However, certain conditions delineate this fissure very clearly and I'll show you some examples. This x-ray for example has right upper lobe consolidation and because the consolidation is confined to right upper lobe you can clearly see the horizontal fissure extending starting from here and finishing here. In this example patient has uh, also has uh, upper lobe consolidation but the whole lobe is not consolidated but you can still see horizontal fissure clearly. This is consolidation. In this example patient has a little bit of fluid confined within the two layers of visceral pleura. It's confined within the horizontal fissure and that's why the horizontal fissure is clearly visible so the fluid is very very clearly visible this is an ECG lead if you can see it and I'll show you in a sketch this is a rough sketch right lung left lung and lateral view this is the position of right middle lobe this is horizontal fissure there is no middle lobe on left side on lateral view this is oblique fissure or major fissure which separates right upper lobe and right lower lobe and right middle lobe and right lower lobe. This is horizontal fissure or transverse fissure or minor fissure which separates right upper lobe and right middle lobe. Thank you very much.